what you say. Not yet, anyway. Easy there. Don't move just yet. Vic? You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light over sensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Delamant was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up. Carefully. I'll try. I think I'm getting some feeling back. Ah! Sit slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Hmm. Looks like I can sit up all right, but I can tell you don't have good news. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? I know, Vic. I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah? What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrizin there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine. Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just... gotta think about it. Need to stretch, stretch your, your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, just in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Well, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. I uh, think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Hey V, I heard... Well... Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie, what's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on.
Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. Ah, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit and mull through some shit yourself. Be alone with my thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... what did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm... What? No. Just... I'm calling Pan Am. Pan... Hey. Do you know what time it is? Won't keep you long. Just wanted to hear you. Huh. He picked an interesting hour for it. Me? Okay, what's going on? Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. Mm-hmm. Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you... Or... Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. I'm gonna try this with Pen Am. We're a lot alike. Trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. Have it your way. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh. I just want to be there for it. Where? See you inside, Mikoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now.
Your offer, I accept. You took your time. In the interim, Yorinobu has made his move. What do you mean? My brother has made me his guest at his residence in North Oak. Locked you in? Yes. His people watch over me for my safety. Yeah? Well, I'll get you out. Can be pretty persuasive. I thank you. Where are you? At Victor's, my ripper dock, back behind a small shop called Misty's Esoterica. I will send someone for you. They will drive you to the residence. Then we shall visit my brother together at Arasaka Tower. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. you have to wait. Mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely, Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The Devil. Got another deck lying around? A cheerful one? This is no joke, V. An inverted devil symbolizes subjugation. Losing control. Aggression. Evil. A power struggle. Whatever you're planning, treat this as a warning. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. <laughs> I think that's for you. Wait, is that... an Arasaka stretch? That's right. But... V... They killed Jackie and... And now you're working for them? Still don't get it, do ya? Jackie died because we made a terrible fucking decision. And the rest... Just plain consequences. The cards weren't lying. You've changed. My senses tell me it's for the worse. So, this is where Arasaka's finest technology wound up. Charming. Where's the Ripper? Telling fortunes from rat bones in the back? Anders Hellman. Alive, I see, and well. 
Figured your employers would have knocked you around some after your flight to Kang Tao. To Arasaka, I'm still worth more alive and well than harmed or dead. Yeah, same as me, so stop droning and take me to Hanako. Right, Hanako. Do you remember what last we spoke of? The construct in your head, and how it could affect decision-making. The same construct that, in its former life, detonated two nuclear warheads inside Arasaka Tower. And now, you and this construct have volunteered to sort things out in Arasaka. Interesting coincidence, wouldn't you say? I got Johnny in check with beta blockers, and Arasaka's not on my radar. It's simple. My life's on the line. Hmm. I shall be watching you. Let us go. <laughs> 